Thank you, Sam. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You do not need to fear because God is with you. Sense the presence of God with you. Let go of your fear. He is with you. You do not need to be dismayed because the God is your God. The God who created the universe and every one of the billions upon billions of people who have lived on this planet is your God. Deeply personally, passionately interested in you. He notices you. He is aware of you and your every need. He has all the time for you that you need him to have. Take some of that time now. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What is it you are worried about? What seems bigger than you? What do you feel too weak to cope with or to go on coping with? Feel your weakness. Acknowledge your tiredness. And now bring that thing to God. Know that he cares for you. Sense his strength filling your weakness. Know his mighty but tender hands beneath you, supporting you, upholding you in this thing you face. Again, let's breathe in and out a couple of times more deeply than normal as I read our second verse. Keep breathing as I read if you would like to. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us 
all things. Try to imagine God's love for his son, Jesus. Eternal, pure, perfect love. Picture the sun on the cross dying for you. Dying for you on the cross because of the way you have ignored God in your life. Know that it was God who sent his son to do this. Know that it was God who sent his son to do this for you. Reflect. Think. How much must God love you if he was prepared to give up the son he loves for you? How much must he love you now, today, just as you are? What is it you need to be able to keep going? What is it you need to live your life the way deep down you want to live it? What are you facing that you worry you haven't got enough to deal with? What do you need? God has given his son for you. Will he withhold from you this thing that you need? Will he? There is nothing, nothing that you need to live the life God intends for you to live in the way he longs for you to live it. There is nothing he will withhold from you to make that possible. He has given his son. Will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Ask him now. Receive from him. Thank him. Trust that because he loves you, because his wisdom is infinite. He will answer your prayer in the way that is best for you. For God demonstrates his own love in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us.
Amen. Thank you, Tim.